2015 Challenger is dramatically enhanced from today's car. If you look at today's car, it's actually a 1970 inspired version. The new one is a 1971. Now, to the uninitiated, you might look at that and say, we didn't change that much about the car. But to the true enthusiasts, number one, we didn't want to change the iconic silhouette of the car. We didn't want to change the muscular proportions of the car, but we needed to update it. So we took everything that made it a 70 and we updated it to a 71. So we were very careful on the exterior to make it an evolutionary change. But what you don't see from the outside is everything that we changed on the inside. So underneath the sheet metal is the next leap forward for this car. We literally changed everything on the inside from a clean sheet design. So merging the heritage with the new technology. TikTok gauge cluster, which is a very big nod to the heritage, but it surrounds a seven inch TFT. So blending the old technology with the new technology and having state of the art functionality. So it's got the latest of everything on the interior, but from the outside, it still has the very iconic proportions. Heritage is, is absolutely critical to this car. This customer really identifies himself with the first generation muscle car. And we're actually bringing in two different customers. We're bringing in customers that remember the first generation car, and maybe they had it, maybe they didn't. Maybe they longed to have it at the time, but couldn't get it, but now they can. They can relive what they didn't have back then. And we're bringing in a brand new customer that was born a little too late and didn't get an opportunity the first time. Now they have that chance. In addition to everything we've changed on the car, the evolutionary change on the outside, the changes that we made to the interior, the leapfrog in technology on the safety technology, we also didn't forget that it's a muscle car. So first and foremost, we had to upgrade the performance of the car. Now, back in the day, the first generation car, 80% of the people bought a manual transmission, 20% bought an automatic. And back then, a lot of the reason they did that was the automatic was not as fast as the manual. Well, today, 80% of the buyers buy an automatic and 20% buy the manual. The manual is still incredibly fun to drive, but the automatic, now with an eight speed in every Challenger, is actually faster than the manual. I have the, the luxury of being able to drive both, and I will tell you, these new cars are far superior to the old cars, and you can only say that if you own one, um, but driving my 71 is like driving a stagecoach compared to these cars. Um, the performance of the new cars is amazing. Doesn't mean I'm gonna get rid of the old one. I love the old one. Um, it's something that you can't get. Uh, the sensation of an old car is just something you can't duplicate. But from a pure performance standpoint, the new cars absolutely blow the old ones away.